Hi, thank you for joining me for Scorpio's December Tarot Scope. for you one two three four we have an oracle card over here the tarot deck that I'm using are the gilded tarot royale this is the book that comes with it and it just gives you a little picture of the fool there on the cover and the oracle cards that I'm using are called mystical wisdom and they are by Gay Guthrie and uh, Josephine Wall So Scorpio, let's start out December with the Empress, the Six of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. So the last one that I did, they just had a ton of Major Arcana in the reading. You have one, two, three, four. Not bad. You have four Major Arcana. So we open up with the Empress. So this tells me, Scorpio, the Empress is an energy that really flows well with you. Although we associate Venus, associate Venus with Taurus and Libra, Venus also really kind of slides into Scorpio kind of well. Um, sometimes it's, it's a difficult, but I think in general it actually works really well. So the, the energy of the Empress is for nurturing, for caring, for taking care of others, for providing a safe place for them to be. And Scorpio, I know that for you, you have the reputation of being um, this kind of behind the scenes, behind the scenes uh, Machiavellian kind of character. But in reality, most Scorpios that I know are terribly, terribly loyal and protective of their families. And I think that's what the Empress represents. It's the time of year where you're coming into a lot of family uh, events and for you it, it's it's a very uh, much loved time because you do get to spend time with your family. The Six of Swords um, indicates that there is something, there is a situation in your life that you want to leave, that you want to move on from and this could be anything from a job to um, a friendship, a relationship. Um, I don't think you want to move on from your family because you, you can't but I do see that there is something that needs to be resolved in your circle, Scorpio. And when you resolve this, when you are able to move on from this, you will feel that the tide has turned. You will feel that the wheel of fortune has spun and that you're moving on to a better place. So this first week is you really thinking about how can you make it better for your family? How can you make it better for yourself? seeing a way out, taking that way out, or way over a travel, traveling medium of some kind, and then how much better that makes your life, how much more appreciative you are for what that, what that does to your life and lifestyle. The beginning of the second week starts with the Ten of Pentacles, which is also a family card for me. It's the legacy card. So you want to leave a legacy to your family. You want to leave them well provided for. And this card is saying that, yeah, you can absolutely do this. And now that you've moved on from that difficult situation, you've kind of ensured that it will happen. But still there is something that is troubling you and it's making you feel that you're blocked, you're hemmed in, you're bound, you're not quite free to do all of the things that you want to do. That's the Eight of Swords. Now this may be just an illusion, Scorpio. In this card, we have the woman who is bound at the wrist and blindfolded. She's on her knees and the eight swords are all around her, but they don't actually touch her. And in this deck, she's actually floating in the sky. She's floating on a cloud. So the swords are not in anything and they actually have light coming out of the ends of them. And there's little bits of starlight all around on everything. If this woman really tried, I mean, the, you can see the rope hanging down from her wrists. It is not tied tightly. She could take that rope off pretty easily and then she could remove her blindfold and then she would be free. 
So this is you, Scorpio. This is you with an imaginary prison going on in your mind that you really want to get out of. And the next card, the Queen of Cups, this is you. It's the Queen level. It's a very high level of mastery for this person, for you. She has her little dogs here, and she holds this cup. The cup holds secrets. So you, Scorpio, are the one that holds the secrets in this deck. You are the one who knows exactly how to get out of this bind. And so why you're resisting, I don't know. But for some reason, you're allowing yourself to stay in this situation. And even in the third week, we still have you stuck, unable to make a decision. You've got the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands. So the Two of Swords is the blindfolded person with the two swords crossed, and the Two of Wands is the person at the crossroads with the two wands indicating the two ways that they might go. When you have choices like this, Scorpio, especially Scorpio, you just have to go with your gut. You're very intuitive. You operate on that higher level a lot, and now is really the time to do it. Don't keep yourself locked up in bondage, and don't think about that. If you're trying to be self-sacrificing or very noble, stop it. That isn't you. You are a person who uh, makes their own way, who, who carves their own path. You don't let anybody really push you around. You're a fixed sign. You may be a water sign, but you're a fixed sign. And the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands are showing you that you have choices you can make. You can make them intellectually, you can make them from the heart, but you're going to make them. So you're going to make the choices of where you want to go next. And here we have the Temperance card. Now the Temperance card is, is telling you, take it easy. Don't be too wild with your choices. Don't get too carried away with things. Don't do anything impulsively. Think about it. Take the middle road. Take the moderate way. Be moderate. Be medium. Don't be too high or too low. Don't be too hot or too cold. Don't be too dark or too light. And Scorpio, I know for you, because you're very, very intense and passionate, this is hard to do. But this is what you need to do. You need to take the middle way. And maybe when you're looking at those secrets that you have in the cup, maybe you can allow yourself to know what's coming and and to um, school yourself so that you, you can... You can sort of comfort yourself with the idea that, well, I do know what's coming, and so I don't have to be quite so extreme in my choices. Maybe that will help you. In the fourth week, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is not you. This is somebody that is close to you. She is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and she is dispassionate. She's unemotional. She makes, she makes her decisions from the head. She has a heart, but she makes her decisions from the head. And this is kind of what you need to do now. You need to be a little more unemotional about things. And I know, Scorpio, again, I know this is hard for you to do. But think about who's making the rules here. You probably want to follow these rules. You probably still want to be in this person's good graces. This is the Hierophant. This is the rule maker, the All-Father. This is the person who puts the roof over the head, gives you the job, gives you the money, makes sure there's food in the fields and food for you to eat. So you don't want to piss off the Hierophant, and you're not the Hierophant. You are the Scorpio. And in the final analysis, I think you're going to do what I'm telling you to do, because you do get the Ten of Cups. You do get your wish by being moderate, by allowing yourself not to get too carried away. You are able to make the decisions dispassionately, unemotionally, and following the rules to a certain degree, and then you'll get what you want. So Scorpio, really interesting read for you. You do have a few things that you really have to think about this month. It's not just the same old, same old. You do have some things that need to be dealt with, and a lot of it is really intellectual dealing but you also have some emotional things that you need to deal with, and I think you will deal with them very well as long as you don't get too awfully carried away with all of them. That's the tarot part of the reading, Scorpio. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if this is really hitting. And then let's move on to the oracle card, and the oracle card is Epiphany. Seek clarity. To experience an epiphany is to have a sudden realization or spiritual flash that will change the way you view yourself and others around you. 
You get to see the situation more clearly, as if someone just switched on the light. With this clarity, you can see the truth. You will also gain a sense of control within yourself to make positive decisions that will bring about happy and joyful outcomes. And your mantra for this month is, yeah, I can see clearly now. So very interesting reading for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love making these videos. When I reach 2,500 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway of a free reading, a free tarot card reading. So please get your friends to watch and hopefully subscribe. But thank you for being a subscriber and for liking and sharing this video. And I hope that we get to 2,500 subscribers before Christmas because I'd really like to give that away sort of during the Yule season. Um, yeah, so have a great December, Scorpio. Best of luck with all of this that's going on. And um, have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you next time.